with most things. Thing's going to complain to me because I'm overheating it. <laughs> See if it's running hot. Not that old thing. Hello. So, hello. It's not running all that hot. We've been already for more than a year or two or three. Yeah. We are more talking about new people. New yes, people. beginners. Yeah, so I wonder who has what? the voice of the beginners. I have a problem. Yeah. So who, who has but, the voice of the beginners? you can't beginners? make a beginner. We are we never used 3D software before. You put them in the shift design and interface. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you can't. Left click is select. How do they know? We don't know oh. nothing. Because yeah. Windows, Microsoft. Uh, oh, uh, standards from other, from other, other no, people. don't do that. A what? Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to argue with you with the left or the right click. I'm fine with left click select. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm not going to give up on the right click. But it's an option, right? We have to give people the option to configure things. And we want to present that. You can say, well, here is the, uh, the, the training wheels, Blender, uh, to get uh, bored and learn things quick. You can use this configuration, the default. So anyhow, um, it's great. It's great that he's got that up there. And um, the thing is, is that I used to be involved with Blender. Um, I used to think that Blender would take over the world, but Blender is just a, it's really just a Swiss army knife of all sorts of tools and things. And it, it could be the glue I'd say of the 3d world. It, it, it's so large now that it dwarfs a lot of 3d software, but it's never going to be stable. Um, no freeware, no no freeware application other than Linux is really stable. Linux is more stable than any of the others are going to be stable. Blender is not really going to be all that stable. Um, the only people who are going to see it as stable is the people that spend time using it every day and. Uh, and find the exact version of Blender that they can use that's stable. The the one that I use is um, is and I'm I'm going to show you it because it's a good segue to get off my website because I I talk about it too much. Um, I was working on let me see let me bring up Blender. So I was I was in Blender and I was working on something. Um, working on something last night and that was I was trying to get back to um, trying to get back to Minecraft and I probably won't work on it much now uh, let's see there it is and this is one of the videos that's let's see which one this is that's that's the video let's see that's what I need to do I'm trying to sync these up, and this is an audio track I don't necessarily need. And I'll put it off on the side. It has, I have to find out where it needs to sync with respect to the whole thing. You probably can't see what I'm doing there, but this is the video, this is a video editor I use. It's called Video Sequence Editor. And the only reason I use it is because, um, is because I know it and because I can finagle it. It isn't perfect. Um, but I know how to get crap out of it, how to put crap into it, um, and uh, I know how, I mean, it isn't, as I said, it isn't perfect. It's video, it never is. Video editors are never perfect. And uh, so what I do is I come up with methods of getting what I want out of them without trying to trying to expect too much from it. So what I did in here is uh, if I go into tab, this is called a meta strip and it's got that green you can't see anything by the way and I know you can't. All you can see is that there's a green line here and there's a there's a kind of an aquamarine line here. There's a blue one and then there's a yellow one. Okay and so that's as much as you can tell. And you can see that there is this big old black, um, this big old black vacuum or this things up here. And that's my screen. And if I click in here, then you can see something that looks kind of like Minecraft up there. So I, I'll size this guy down. 
and I'll zoom up on that guy. And I'm doing this all, you can see my left hand is off my sign and I'm not doing anything. I'm doing this all with, um, I mean, I could probably do it without my left hand, but from time to time I will have to use it. But I can go in here and click in somewhere. Is it? How am I not getting this down here? Oh, I see what's wrong. It's because the start is. Oh, the yeah, it's way over here. I see. I'm off the screen. That's the reason why it's not working. Let's we'll see. There's some graphics in here. And let me see if I'm further from the engine. Now you can see something. It's a little bit more detail. There's me in a boat on sand in the water. And so this is my Minecraft video. And this has got audio in it. If I do an. This is just this is just from the uh, this is just from the um, the audio from the Oculus Go uh, and the the video capture and so then I have to layer this up with the uh, other video so I'm gonna escape that I get out of tab mode so I can go back into the Meta Strip. Um, this other one has got audio in it, and let's see how it, if we got all the strips up. There's another one over here. This is an audio strip that's just got audio track in it. If I bring this one up, and start playing it. A portrait of a person who. There you go. And uh, so I'm not going to use this track. I do this. Now I'm not hearing this track down here. I want to use both of these audio tracks. This guy's got an audio track, that guy's got an audio track, but I gotta mix them together. And so what I need to do is I need to um let me pop this guy up on top and see uh, what he's got to say. I grab it and I'm constraining the uh, let's play it. He has nothing to say yet. Yeah. Okay. It looks like I can I can get them synced. So where they need to be synced, if you see that black line in one of these strips, there's a black line in one strip, and there's an orange line in the other. These guys need to meet up with each other. So I need to bring them, but I can't do it with the with the video showing because it'll slow things down. So I go in here and I'm gonna raise this up so I can see the strips more. Because you can't see them. Let's see, there's a black line right there. I need that black line to meet up with this orange line. So I'm gonna click on this guy and I'm gonna grab him and move him over. And I'm gonna zoom in a little more tight the two and keep trying to meet them up until I'm frame accurate. Excuse me. Yeah, grab and move it up. Zoom it. Zoom it. a little bit. This is pretty, yeah, it's frame accurate right now. And so they're completely synced. And then I go ahead and I'll take video of one. Oh, is that the audio track? That's, that's the audio track, isn't it? No, the other one's the audio track. That's the video track. So uh, I, I guess I knew that anyhow, but uh, come 
on not doing the right thing was I and bring this guy down. See where we're at. So now I have to take this strap up here and scale it. I'll have to put it on top of that one. Right there. And then I have to layer these two together. Add, and then do an effect strip, and it's going to be an alpha over. And that is the switch, it's an alpha under. So I'll do it again. This guy doing an alpha under it against the try that. Okay, it was alpha under that I needed to do. So the video is on the outside, and the, and the other stuff is over here. So actually, um, the audio is behind, but I'm, I think I think they're in sync because I got them 